you made it to this video, you've probably already seen one of these energy-free water pump videos that seem to be all over YouTube right now. Here's one that has 730,000 views. Here's another one, 2.5 million views. Many of these videos don't seem to have many words to them. They just show you a picture of how the thing is put together, and then they show you like a, about a 10-second clip of the water coming out of it. But more importantly, once the water starts coming out, does it keep going, or does this thing go dry after a little bit of time of running? So what we decided to do was to go ahead and make one of our own pumps and see if this thing actually worked. This right here is our video on our channel where we made one of these things. If you watch this video, you'll see a lot of science about what it would take to make this thing work, as well as many attempted tries to see if we can get this thing flowing. Hook the hose back up to the suction side. We'll get it flowing and see if it keeps flowing. So here's our suction hose. Let's get it right there to that stream of water. And now you see now the water's coming out of our thing. So now I'm gonna take it away, put it back in the water, see if it keeps moving. Actually, we're getting a suction on the discharge side. It's not doing anything. Put we go in the wrong direction as it's siphoning the water back out of the bottle. And it's going to siphon it out all the way down to the bottom edge of the input hose. And once it reaches that air bubble there, that's when it's going to stop. And it should come to complete stop again. I think we can conclude at this point that this whole thing is a sham. And there's no scientific way that this could possibly work. Certainly a siphon, you can siphon from a higher level of body of water to a lower level body of water. And whether you go through a tank or just use a straight hose makes no difference. One of the things you'll notice about many of the ones that are out there on YouTube is they'll flow for about 10 seconds in their video, but the video doesn't really show you if it continues to flow. If you loosen the air vent on the top of it, then naturally it's going to flow the water right on out to the lower part of the drain. In many of the other videos, when they have these 55 gallon drums, you know, all they have to do is just have an air vent on the top, and the thing will basically keep running until the drum is completely void of any water inside it. So you might be saying to yourself, why are these people doing this? We'll be back in a little over 60 seconds, and we'll show you exactly why they're making all these videos, even though they know that this thing doesn't work. Hey, we'll be back in a little over 60 seconds, and we're going to pause real quick to see if you need any eternal repair. You might say, eternal repair? What's that? Well, hey, consider your whole life, and all your life, have you ever told a lie before? I have, and I'm sure you have too. We all have. Also consider, have you ever stolen something, even no matter how small it was? I'm sure you have, and I have too. The whole point of where I'm going with this is those two rules, lying and stealing, those are two of the Ten Commandments in the Bible, for which define what sin is. So if you've broken even one of those rules, no matter how small it was, that means you've sinned, and we all have. The punishment for sin is going to hell, or eternal separation from God. The good news is Jesus Christ came to this earth. He didn't lie. He didn't steal. He didn't do all these crazy stuff that you and I have done. He was totally without sin. He was sacrificed on the cross for my personal sin and yours. He went to the grave. Three days later, he defeated death, and now he sits beside the Father in heaven. The whole point of why he had to take that punishment on the cross was he was taking the punishment for your sin and for my sin. But it can only be accounted to you if through faith you believe in who he was, what he did, you submit to him as your Lord, and you repent. And when you do that, you can have eternal habitation with Jesus and the rest of the saints for eternity in heaven. You might be saying to yourself, hey, I'm a good person. Surely God wouldn't send me to hell for all the nice things I've done for people. But the truth of the matter is the Bible says, by grace you've been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man or woman should boast. There is no amount of good work you can do to earn your righteousness before God. Only faith and trust in what Jesus has done for you on the cross. Hey, let's get back to our video, and I'll have a little more information on the eternal portion of this at the end of the video. Most of your videos out there on the free energy water pumps are being done by this site called Learn for Life. And you say to yourself, why would they go to this much effort to put all these videos out there when this thing really doesn't work? Well, let's answer that and take a look. Here's a video that they just put out three days ago, and you can see it has 17,000 views in three days. Here's another one that was put out a week ago, 24,000. Here's another one two weeks ago, 36,000. Here's one that's three weeks ago, 81,000. Here's another one that's a month ago, 53,000. 
And these are all the newer videos. So let's go on down their site just a little bit and take a look at some of their older videos. As you can see, they have quite a few videos of exactly the same thing going on here. Here's one, 665,000 views in six months. So why would they go to all this trouble to put these out there when this thing really doesn't work? The answer is, think about all the advertising money YouTube is probably paying them for running these videos and has such a high viewership. The easy part is that this video having 729,000 some odd views and look at the percentage of likes. 7,600 people liked it, 537 didn't like it. And I think what's happening here is people watch this and then they don't even realize that it doesn't work and they think it's a great idea and so they hit the like button and maybe go try it and then later find out it doesn't work. Hey, as far as the eternal portion I was talking about, if you're not sure you know who God is, I encourage you to just to pray like this. Say, Lord Jesus, if you are real and you are out there, I pray you would reveal yourself to me in a tangible way. And when you make that prayer, he's going to answer it and you will know he is real. At the point you know he is real and you're ready to accept him as your Lord and Savior, the gospel is so simple. All you have to do is just pray like this. Say, Lord Jesus, I recognize that you are the Son of God. You took the price for my personal sin on the cross. I surrender my will to your will as Lord of my life. I repent of my sin. Thank you for loving me, forgiving me, and accepting me into your eternal habitation. That's just how simple it is. But the catch is that just saying those words won't do anything for you, only unless the heart believes the words that you're speaking. For the Bible says in Romans 10:9, if you confess with your mouth Jesus Christ is Lord, which I just did, and you believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Salvation only comes through faith and believing. Hey, if you get a chance, visit our website, eternalrepair.com, where we have a lot more information about your walk with Jesus Christ. That's eternalrepair.com. Thanks for watching.